What's going on guys? Mike Corbishley here with Lawrence to talk to you about how to update your ghost trolling motor to take advantage of the new features that we have with our updates. The first way to update your Lawrence ghost trolling motor will be to download the Lawrence app on your phone. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And I've already made an account. I've already got everything all set up on here. But what I can do is um, scroll down to my devices and you'll be able to add a new device and you'll see on there we have Lawrence Ghost hit add and it's gonna say all the instructions are right on screen so it makes it extremely simple it's gonna say power up your ghost trolling motor we've went ahead and powered ours up you can see right here on the bottom part of the foot pedal we're gonna go ahead to the next step it's gonna say put your ghost trolling motor in pairing mode you can press and hold the programmable two and three buttons on the bottom for three seconds and you'll notice that the lights start flashing on the bottom part of the foot pedal here. Once that's set up we're going to hit OK on our app and then it says put your ghost trolling motor in pairing mode. So once these lights are flashing you're going to press and hold this test it button for three seconds. One, two, three. And you'll notice that all our lights are now flashing. We're going to go step four out of five it's waiting for the connect and connection to be established. And just like that, we've got our ghost trolling motor all hooked up. Once you've got the Lowrance app and you scroll down, select your trolling motor, uh, it'll tell you if your firmware is up to date. And if it isn't, you'll be able to hit update now. And what it'll do is you'll leave your foot or you'll leave your phone sitting on uh, next to the uh, trolling motor foot pedal. And it will take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. You'll go ahead and download that update. and. Uh, you'll be good to go. It's important to note that while you're doing this, to pay attention, make sure that the lights are done flashing on the head of the trolling motor. You'll notice the lights will start flashing on that. Once the lights are done flashing and the update is all complete, you're good to go. Do not cut power to your trolling motor during an update. But it's just like that. It's extremely simple to do from your phone. The second way to download a ghost trolling motor update is to manually do it. So uh, you can go to the Lowrance website download the, the most recent update. In this case, it's 1.03. Uh, you can use a USB drive in the back of your Lowrance HDS display, or you can put it in an SD card slot right here on the front of your HDS unit, uh, or Elite FS, or anything with NEMA 2000 capability, which we do have hooked up to our graphs right now. You're gonna go ahead and click on storage. I'm gonna scroll down here to where we have our uh, ghost update 1.03. I'm going to go ahead and hit upgrade. Let's go ahead and it's updating. You'll notice that on the foot pedal that all our lights are flashing. And then once that finishes, you'll see that the lights in the head of the trolling motor right here will actually continuously flash uh, until the update's complete. Your upgrade is complete for software. It is now pushing the update from the display into the ghost trolling motor. You notice that the lights are now flashing between 24 and 36 volts here on the foot pedal of the display. At this point, you do not want to cut power to your trolling motor. Make sure you let that finish its update. You'll notice these lights are flashing, and then in addition, the lights on the head of the trolling motor will flash until that update is complete. Once those lights start, stop flashing, your update is good and you're ready to go.